If you and your spouse have gone to mediation and you've already agreed to time sharing in principle, meaning week on, week off, a two, three, two schedule, something to govern the day to day, week to week parenting and overnight time sharing with your kids. There may be several issues outstanding. One of those issues that is not necessarily primary in principle of the agreement, but perhaps equally as important is how you're going to handle uh, time sharing for the holidays. This could mean Easter, uh, Hanukkah, Passover, Christmas, Thanksgiving, summertime vacation, uh, three day weekends. How do you and your spouse intend to resolve that? So let's take uh, the Christmas slash winter break holiday as an example for how you may consider changing or modifying or creating your parenting plan to best suit yourselves as parents, your families involved, and the minor children most importantly. Uh, so sometimes generically and generally speaking, what the parties will do is have a plan in which on even years, mom will have the kids from the beginning of school vacation in mid-December until Christmas morning. And then dad will have, and presumably his family as well, will have the minor children from Christmas morning until school resumes in the first week of January. During odd years, this will flip, in which dad will have the first half and mom will have the second half. This can be a guidepost for changing spring break to one year for dad, the next year for mom, or splitting it down the middle 50-50. Consider first, what are your normal holiday traditions? Are these holidays important to you? Are they important to your family? What would it mean to you as a parent to spend those particular holidays with your children? And conversely, what does it mean for the other party? If the other party is religious and you are not, perhaps the Christmas holiday or an Easter holiday may have more special meaning for them and Thanksgiving may be best suited for you. Or any other arrangements that you decide as parents and for the best interest of your children will be reasonable for you and for your family. Thanks.